Welcome to New TV. Hello everyone, Tiffany Knowles again with NEWD. As I said, we just came from the Creative Arts panel where we met Ian Harnerine. And he is the writer and director of a great film that came out in 2011. It's called Doubles with Slight Pepper. Do you know what Doubles is? I do. Well, he's going to tell us a little bit about this film and the work that he's doing in the film industry. Ian, thank you. Tell us about that great film that was award-winning in 2011. Uh, well, it's a father and son story. It's set between, well, it's set in Trinidad, and it's about a, um, an estranged father-son relationship. Father returns from years abroad to Trinidad, and um, he's trying to, you know, have a relationship with his family again and his son. Okay, so how long were they estranged? For about, it's, it's sort of undefined, probably about a good 10 or 12 years, I'd say. Okay, <laughs> so, but that's very common in the Caribbean. I mean, it's common in other countries too, like, you know, you see the story of African parents and children being estranged. So I think it was important to you, you were talking about it being universal. What are some of the universal themes that were present? You know, what, what inspired me about, well, to make the film is the sort of intrinsic human relationships that we have between a father and son, a mother and son, and, you know, what do those relationships mean? Are they, you know, there's the old cliche of, like, blood is thicker than water, but really, what can test that relationship? Is that really true? And um, those are the themes, like, these sort of universal, you know, stories that everyone can hopefully appreciate and, and can recognize themselves in. That's what sort of motivated the story. Wonderful. Now, Ian, you wrote and directed it, but Spike Lee executive produced it. You were telling us how the film has gotten quite a bit of acclaim. What awards has it won? It won the, uh, the Toronto Film Festival. It won the Canadian Oscar. Um, I got nominated, well, I was on this list for the 25 New Faces of Independent Film. Um, it's literally, it went to, well, it screened at Cannes. It's like been sort of all over the world. It's been great. Wonderful. So, n new face in film, but what has been going on since that movie? What's new for you? Well, I'm working on a feature film adaptation of Doubles with Slight Pepper. Um, I'm hoping to shoot that later this year or early next year, 2015. Um, I also co-wrote a script with Spike Lee called time traveler and uh, hopefully he will direct that soon okay and lastly just tell us a little bit about your Caribbean upbringing what was that like growing up in a home where you maybe ate doubles all the time wait you know what for those of you who don't know what doubles is he's gonna explain it right now so don't worry so doubles are delicious they are like the Trini street food kind of like how hot dogs are on every corner in New York or whatever and it's like two round flatbreads probably the size of my palm and inside is like chock full of curry chickpeas and chutneys and hot sauces are delicious clearly I like a doubles there's not a doubles I will not eat <laughs> was that uh, growing up did you have doubles all the time how was it yeah absolutely I remember actually when my mother used to come visit uh, she would make the oh they're so good so good yeah, yeah question how similar was your story growing up to the story in doubles with slight pepper you know that's a good question um, the relate the father the father-son story that's depicted in my film is not exactly the relationship that I had with my father but there's this the, to me it's like this father-son bondness that can't be broken and that's what I find the tie is to me in the uh, and the uh, in the film itself and the story that's being placed there I think growing up I grew up in Canada in Toronto where there's a big Caribbean community as well and um, you know it's like a part of the culture there like it really really is like I have tons of cousins and uncles and aunts and whatever there's tons of restaurants and everything so even though like I went to like a Canadian school you know, you grow up in the culture, like you're always going to fets and parties and your auntie's having, you know, chicken pilau on Sunday and this and that. And so you grow up in the culture, even though you're sort of set apart from it, but you are steeped in that, you know, from family. So for you, it was just the thing to do. When you're thinking of creating a film, you create it from your experience. And that experience was so rich for you growing up. Then comes Doubles with Slight Pepper. I love the name of this film. You guys haven't seen it. You have to go and see it. All right. Thank you. How can we learn out more about you and the work that you're doing? Um, you could go to doubleswithslightpepper.com um, and you can see the film there. You can keep up to date with everything. We're on Facebook too. Just like, I think we're the number one hit now on Google if you do, if you do that. Yep. Wait, the number one hit if I Google Doubles? Maybe not Doubles. <laughs> doubles with Slight Pepper for sure. 
for sure, that's for sure. Or Doubles movie, maybe, but definitely Doubles with Sight Pepper. Welcome to New TV.